it looks like we're going to have a lot of changes, maybe in the way you play and where you get your Magic Gathering product. Stay tuned, and I'll tell you some more. <laughs> Hello, Planeswalkers, and welcome to the Oathbreaking News, your new source for Magic the Gathering content that affects the Oathbreaker format. If you like what I do, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, you know, do the YouTube things below, and let's get into it. First things first, I want to discuss what is essentially kind of a problem we're having. If you depend on big box stores in order to get your Magic the Gathering product, that is about to get much harder. Target uh, has had some incidents as of late involving violence, poor behavior, loss, and theft that's going to cause them to pull that product from store shelves and only be able to shop and buy it online. It's sad, but a few people ruin it for everybody else. To take this story one step further, this is also true of Walmarts. About a week or two ago, Walmart put out a notice to its vendors not to stock the trading card area of the store. This is not just going to affect Magic the Gathering, it's also going to affect other types of trading cards so if you're into hockey baseball anything like that and other types of collectible card games including but not limited to magic the gathering Yu-Gi-Oh, duel masters oh and probably pokemon if i had to guess so if you're in a rural area most of your shopping might have to move to tcg player online or amazon wherever you feel like you get the safest and best deal if you don't have a local lgs Speaking of LGSs, there is some other exciting news I have. If you've had trouble finding a way to play during the pandemic, well, I've got great news for you. The Wizards Play Network announced the other day on May 6, 2021, and I'll put a link to the article below, The in-store play is going to be returning, and you'll be able to show up at your local game store and play in events again. You'll no longer have to find a way to do it from home. Certainly, if you found a great community via Spell Table, continue to do that. But if you want to get back and live in person with your regular gaming group, that opportunity is coming back. Uh, as with this and any other story I talk about today, please hit me up in the comments below and let's move on to the next thing. Something else that's coming along with this push to get back into the LGS as play returns to the store, Wizards of the Coast is reinvigorating their love your LGS promotion. Remember from the beginning of the pandemic, this was a promotion designed to give players special things just for going and shopping in their store and taking part in the store's online events. The idea is that by providing additional goodies, it's going to reinvigorate the stores and get paper play started back up again which has been a little bit hard during the pandemic. First, beginning with June 18th, Wizards of the Coast is going to offer a sales promotional foil card in the retro frame for Fabled Passage for each customer that spends 50 or more dollars in store on sealed Magic the Gathering product. That's probably going to be pretty easy to hit since these, these can be close to 50 bucks. This is one of the Challenger decks. If you're buying one that's hard to find, these can be close to 41. This is one of the new Strixhaven commander decks. So <clears throat> I do have my own addiction. <laughs> um, the next one is sometime in late summer. They're going to offer five different foils in retro frames. And for people who are chasing retro frames, those might end up being high value. I think that's really cool. They don't tell us what those uh, foils are going to look like. And they are going to be something you get for um, entry into events for in-store play events. So hopefully that drives people back to tournaments as an Oathbreaker player. I don't play a lot of standard or modern or uh, pre-releases, so it's probably lost on me. Finally, Finally, to kind of cap off this Love Your LGS thing that they're pushing, they're going to actually give WPN Stores exclusive mystery uh, booster convention edition boxes that we can use for one-of-a-kind in-store events. So this is going to allow people to draft with the mystery boosters with those special playtest cards that they may not have been able to do if they never made it to a convention or an event where those were available. So opening that up is really gonna allow people to get access to cards they can't find or have, but also to enjoy mystery boosters the way they were designed to be, which is a draft environment with very unique and special cards. Again, if any of this speaks to you, you're looking for particular cards or play tests, please let me know in the comment below. I really do wanna know what you guys think on these stories. Moving on, uh, I wanna talk very briefly about Secret Layer since this whole video is about in-store play. They will be making the Secret Layer Ultimate Edition available in stores for people to purchase 
that's just the way they sell those. If you're looking for it, you can find it. I'm actually not too driven to uh, buy $219 sets of, of a couple lands, but just so you know, that is out there. And it's one more thing you can find. Also had excellent luck at finding secret layers in store when I want to catch up on what I had or when I missed out on. Actually, I've really only used this to buy gifts for friends, but it is an option. Check with your local game store if you're looking for something special. Also on May 11th, and this is related in store play, Wizards of the Coast put out an article called Companion, What You'll Need to Play in Stores. It outlines updates to the Wizards of the Coast Companion app that can be used to track your play, your events, your life totals in playing with friends. It is a way for them to try to make hosting tournaments, running tournaments, and playing non-sanctioned tournaments easier for you than ever. It doesn't cover the Oathbreaker format or many formats. It's mostly focused on the wizard supported formats, but I do suggest you check it out. Um, I'm not going to put a link in the description to the companion. You can find it very easily on the Apple store or on the Google play store. So that would be my suggestion for that. Um, having said all that again, get in the comments below, tell me what you think, what you want to know is going on in magic, the gathering and Oathbreaker, And I'll be happy to provide that. I just want to remind you guys that your planeswalker spark lights up my life.